And of course, today marks the start of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And this weekend, hundreds will take part in Georgia's two day walk for breast cancer. Tonight, Joe Ripley highlights the importance of support in the fight against this deadly disease. Nina Marari's life changing journey brought her here. Going from shock and surprise, and, um, but I have an amazing support system. A system she's leaned on since New Year's Eve 2009. For the eighth straight year, Marari will take part of the Georgia two day walk for breast cancer. It was held virtually back in 2020. A hybrid version will take place this year with more than 700 people walking 10 miles through downtown Atlanta in person. Whether they're survivors, supporters, staff members from the two day, we're all a happy family. One and eight women have breast cancer right here in the south. There's a lot of rural areas where people just don't have access to health care, especially after last year with people missing mammograms. So, you know, we're concerned about people getting later stage, you know, diseases. It's the journey director Stephanie Tucker says the walk has raised $750,000 this year, enough to pay for 5,000 mammograms. She says that money will stay in Georgia. According to the Georgia Department of Public Health, breast cancer accounts for 30% of new cancer cases among women. It's the leading cause of cancer among women in Metro Atlanta. When you feel something is wrong, follow your gut instinct and act, don't react. So if you react, you might get scared about your cancer diagnosis, but take action. 13-year survivor Crystal Bethay says her support system, her pink bubble, she calls it, got her through. Nina Marari and hundreds of others know they couldn't continue their fight, their journey, without each other. When you're down, they pick you back up. Um, it's really important to stay connected to people, especially in this time.